Double Truth Bulletin News to entertain you Good evening and welcome to the Double Truth Newsroom. The government are celebrating tonight with their victory over transparency and accountability in politics. The success comes as the Dale, the Irish Parliament, narrowly voted confidence in the Tanyishja, the Deputy Prime Minister in Irish, lovely Leo Vampire. The vote comes after the Tanyishja admitted that he had shared confidential state documents with a friend at the OK Golf Club during his tenure as Taoiseach, the Irish Prime Minister, in 2019. The narrow victory of the vote is a show of strength for the new government, a coalition between the two dominant political parties and once bitter enemies Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael, supported by the resurgent Green Party. A statement from Lovely Leo said, This vote confirms a new era in Irish politics. It is clear that Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael are able to work together and continue the business-as-usual model for government. The new Taoiseach, Miserable Michael, and senior coalition partner said, I sure it reminds me of the tent at the Galway races. The good old days with me and Charlie and the bankers and the judges. The Green Party run available for comment as they are all showing symptoms of golf pig 20, the pigment disease turning Irish politicians green. The newfound unity between Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael comes as the government prepares for the centenary celebrations of Ireland's independence from the United Kingdom and the start of the bloody civil war which claimed the lives of over 3,000 citizens, many of whom were non-combatants, and countless atrocities committed by both sides. In other news, staying with the OK Club, the Golfgate scandal in which members of the private and exclusive OK Golf Club were found to be rule-bending at a golf competition continues to haunt the government. A constitutional crisis has arisen as a direct consequence of the state's separation of powers. Politicians and the judiciary are unable to decide who should judge the judges. A spokesperson for the OK Club said, What happens at the OK Club stays at the OK Club. Sure we're all just trying to keep the wolf from the door. Uh, We are getting reports of a breakthrough in the Orange A procession which was donated by Northern Ireland's First Minister Arlene Forster to stop the spread of golf pig 20 to the Northern Assembly. It is thought that the apprentice boys who had been triumphantly marching the oranges to Dublin had got lost in the new no man's land of the United Kingdom European Union border area. However, the Double Truth News team are following up reports of sightings of a large group of men fitting the description on a boring a small road in the Irish language, near Cahar Sivine in County Kerry. The Double Truth News team will bring you updates on this breaking story throughout the evening. Double Truth Bulletin News to entertain you We interrupt your programme to bring you breaking news about the Orange Aid story. The Double Truth News team have managed to track down the group reported in Kerry and we are able to go live now via satellite for an exclusive interview with our reporter Neil Diggum. Hello Neil, can you tell our viewers where you are right now? Good evening from the beautiful West Kerry. And we're here on Bunk Lashley Mountain overlooking the Atlantic Ocean and the famous Skellig Rocks made famous by the Star Wars film. And can you tell us about the Orange Aid? Have you made contact with the apprentices? Yes, it appears that the reports are correct. We are just translating at the moment. But yes, I can definitely say that these are the apprentice boys and we have found the Orange Aid. That's great news, Neil. I'd say there's an award there for you. I go on, just do a job. So can you tell us how they are? They sound like they're in great form. Oh yes, they are in high spirits all right. We are the first people they've seen in two months now. They're all a little bit grisly, to be honest, but it's a bit of a schmear. And would it be possible to speak to a spokesman? Sure, we'll just grab hold of Sammy here. No, Sammy, have the double two news studio on the phone here live for you. Hello, Sammy. Okay. Hey, you doing? 
it's Sly Fien here at the Double Truth Newsroom, and we would like to be the first to welcome you to the Republic of Ireland. Hi. Me name's Sammy. Hey, bet ya. Sly Fien here. Cade me la falche. Hey, Sammy. Can you come over here and tell me what this guy is saying? Uh, thank you, Sammy. Maybe we could speak to Neil again. Neil, are you there? Are you, are you there, Neil? Ah, uh, yes, as you can hear, there's plenty of translating needing to be done. Yes, you have your work cut out for you. And how did they end up in West Kerry? Well, from what we've been able to decipher so far, it would appear that they didn't recognise the border without barbed wire and military checkpoints. So they thought they were still in no man's land. And do you know yet how they managed to survive? Not yet. But there don't seem to be too many oranges. I, I see. OK, Neil, we'll leave it there. I'm sure there is plenty more to discover in the coming days. Thank you, Sly. As soon as the translator arrives, we'll get the full story. And a great piece of investigative journalism on your behalf. Look forward to seeing you at the award ceremony. Uh, go on, will you stop? Thank you, Neil. So it appears that the Orange Aid mystery has been resolved. We will, of course, keep you updated if there are any developments in this breaking story. We will now return you to your normal programming. For live updates on these and other stories, follow us at Double Truth on Facebook. Or Twits can use hashtag 2 by Truth.